rest of your offspring, I presume. All but one. The youngest has been lately married, your ladyship. And my eldest was proposed to only this afternoon. You have a very small garden, madam. Could I offer you a cup of tea, perhaps, Helene? Absolutely not. I need to speak to Miss Elizabeth Bennet alone, as a matter of urgency. You can be at no loss, Miss Bennet, to understand why I am here. Indeed, you are mistaken. I cannot account for this honour at all. Miss Bennet, I warn you, I am not to be trifled with. A report of a most alarming nature has reached me, that you intend to be united with my nephew, Mr Darcy. I know this to be a scandalous falsehood. Though not wishing to injure him by supposing it possible, I instantly set off to make my sentiments known. If you believed it to be impossible, I wonder you took the trouble of coming so far. To hear it contradicted, Miss Bennet. Your coming will be rather a confirmation, surely, if indeed such a report exists. If? Do you then pretend to be ignorant of it? Has it not been industriously circulated by yourself? I have never heard of it. And can you declare there is no foundation for it? I do not pretend to possess equal frankness with your ladyship. You may ask a question which I may choose not to answer. This is not to be borne. Has my nephew made you an offer of marriage? Your ladyship has declared it to be impossible. Let me be understood. Mr Darcy is engaged to my daughter. Now what have you to say? Only this. If that is the case, you can have no reason to suppose he would make an offer to me. You selfish girl. This union has been planned since their infancy. Do you think it can be prevented by a young woman of inferior birth whose own sister's elopement resulted in a scandalously patched-up marriage only achieved at the expense of your uncle? Heaven and earth, are the shades of Pemberley to be thus polluted? Now tell me once and for all, are you engaged to him? I am not. And will you promise never to enter into such an engagement? I will not, and I certainly never shall. You have insulted me in every possible way and can now have nothing further to say. I'll ask you to leave immediately. <laughs> Good night. I have never been thus treated in my entire life. Lizzie, what on earth is going on? Well, it's understandable. Lizzie, for once in your life, leave me alone! 